friends, it's Lorian Witch here with your monthly reading for October for all 12 signs. Uh, this, re this introduction actually is just going to be the same um, because I wanted to reach every single one of you and basically say a big huge hug and a big thank you to your consistent support, your comments, your interactions. Um, people on Facebook who've been liking some of my posts, Twitter, which I'm now back on. I did get hacked temporarily, um, but I'm on Twitter again now. Um, and generally just being awesome people, subscribing, sharing videos. Um, I think I've mentioned in several other videos that I did not expect as big of an audience, mainly, and resonance with a lot of people. So the fact that you will really um, connect with me as well as a reader that means a lot and I like that you show your support um, to my patrons on Patreon thank you so much as well um, every little helps honestly it's really I'm going to do everything that I can to invest in this channel and hopefully address you more personally in the future and get more tarot decks get more ways and methods of giving you these messages and it's a shame that I've not got enough to invest at this point in time myself, but any help that you have is amazing. Um, also to the people who've asked for readings from me, every time you send me an email and say, you know, that you have um, resonated with the reading and, um, you know, you know the feedback that I get and you tell me, you know, where, I, you, know, where, where you feel um, that the, the reading has taken you and the messages, it just validates a lot of what I do and it keeps me really on, on a higher vibration. Um, I didn't anticipate that this beginning was going to be so rambly and full of love, however I'm very pleased that it is. It's probably because Mercury's in Libra right now or something, I don't know. Um, but yes, I really, really enjoy talking to all of you and thank you so much. Details of how to get in touch with me for a reading. I do Skype now, a video and email. I also do customised readings, so if you don't see anything that you feel suits you, do ask me if you email and let me know. Facebook, message me if you need to, connect with me on there. I, I'm not just a reader on the side of the screen. I am here trying to connect with every one of you. If I could come and give you a high five and do a personal reading for every single one of you, I probably would. Um, but yeah, just thank you so much and check out the ways to contact me. They'll also be at the end of your reading as well. Um, it does apply to your sun, rising and moon sign. I think if I was to get into any other planet, it might be a little bit of a shaky thing there. But hopefully September will ha or has been good to you and... We're now going into October. Very looking forward to seeing what holds for you. So let's get to your monthly sign reading. Hello Taurus, thank you for tuning in to your October monthly reading. It's Lauren Witch here. Um, don't know anything different this month um, and different to the rest of the videos for the month. I've actually decided to do this outside, so if you hear any unusual sounds like children, machines, um, you know, things like that, the day is starting to wind down, um, but hopefully it'll be a little bit quiet. But if you do hear any foreign voices, it's not me, and it's certainly not a spirit. It's just some by next door neighbours or something like that coming out to say hello. So for this month, we're having the Truth Seekers Tarot by, I think it's David Vontano and the Earth Oracle deck, just to give you a flavour of what's coming up for you in October. As usual, the first four cards, one card is for approximately a week of energy for October, and we also have the contract, um, sorry, I'm just looking at the card, we also have the one energy oracle card for the feeling of the month, which is, as it happens, contract. And I think that they are drawing my attention to that, um, because they're asking you, I would say for October, just to get the feel of what you're committed to and what you, or how you perceive those things. Are they binding you from doing something that you really want to achieve? Or are they something that you feel happy committing yourself to? This is almost like an inner question, I feel, for the month of October. Um, probably brought out by the Blood Moon Eclipse night. Um, 
it is tonight, I think, yes it is, because I'm doing this on the 27th, so the eve, the sun is just setting down, and it's going to be very interesting to see what happens, but for October, there is almost a sense of accountability, what are you going to be held accountable for in October, what do you feel comfortable with taking ownership of? It also shows, I would say, in the other cards around it, you know, what do you feel like you can lend yourself to what do you feel you know all encompassing with you know that kind of feeling of where your priorities lie families are you carrying any burdens that aren't your own it's that sort of feeling that I'm getting here you ha you may have to be prepared to go inwards to take a look at that but don't feel that you have to be attached to things that don't really work for you that's the main thing do not feel like you have to be um well, I would say sort of dragged under if you feel like it's going to be too overwhelming for you. You know, that's that, that kind of feeling. So don't worry if you feel like you've signed your life away. You can, it's not a binding lifetime contract. You can just take a step back, release yourself from the responsibility of that, and then sort of make life what you want it to be eventually. Um... So that's possibly just the general feeling of the Oracle card that it wants to give you this month. And I'll just have a look and see how that links in with the four others around it. Um, the Eight of Pentacles in the first week is basically like accomplishment. Um, it's something that I always like to see in a reading. Mainly because it gives me a feeling of understanding and hope about my creations and things like that. Um, the way it falls for you here is certainly a sense of um while well, looking for the three of cups eight of cups this is almost like you have the bed of a very strong project now you have the bed of a very strong understanding or knowledge about what's going on for you so now you can work with that and move forwards into october I'm basically looking at the Eight of Pentacles in the way that it wants to lend itself to you in a, in a general fashion. So it's kind of saying, I support you. There's an energy around here which will allow or lend itself to something that you can really tune into and progress during the month of October. So if you have had something on your mind that you kind of want to add a little bit, for instance, if you've been making a recipe for the last 10 years um, let's just say spaghetti bolognese um, and you make it a certain way for the last 10 years and you make it every Sunday or every month you know for special occasions and then one day you just decide okay so I've got this basic now I want to change it I'm going to add rosemary or I'm going to add some herbs that I've grown in the garden my own concoction of this i'm going to add chives you know it can be as simple as that to any i wouldn't recommend adding chives to bolognese um but i'm sure all the chefs will disagree or something like that um but i i would just say that there's something else that you can add into this so you have the framework you have something here that you've really worked on it could lend itself to any part of your life and now it will be the absolute pinpoint of you being able to go forwards and really take charge of this um, and just kind of mould it and shape it, add elements to it, whatever you want to do in the form of um, kind of shaping it yourself, you know, it's yours but now you have to put your own stamp on it, that's the only way that I can describe it in general for you, you know I kind of knew as soon as I said outside that people would start squeaking or shouting at each other and it was right I had to pause recording them because somebody with an extremely squeaky wheelbarrow was walking up the road and then my neighbors decided to shout at their children so let me have a look at this it's got the three of cups as the second week and this is a very strong inclination of kind of having a full well, three cups half full rather than three cups half empty is the way that you look at things that make the most difference and the way that you perceive things that can really change the course of 
your future, basically. So in the Three of Cups, normally in traditional tarot, um, means that it is going to be a period of celebration for you and that you have accomplishments. It can also indicate reunion. And I certainly feel here that there may be kind of an extra element that you didn't anticipate. So in the Three of Swords, I normally say that it's an extra energy coming in, getting in the way. In the Three of Cups, I would say for you that in the second week of October, you're going to have an energy that's complementing you. So if you're in a partnership, there may be an extra element to that that's coming in now to help you out and create a deeper understanding of the union as a whole. If you are in uh, or looking for love, even for those single ones out there, you should actually find another aspect of yourself that maybe you thought you didn't have so you're going to be able to see things in a different way and also be able to claim those things so there's no use just kind of looking at yourself and thinking oh well I've only got two things going for me for instance your best features for uh, your eyes and your sense of humor or something and then you may see a third thing that actually lends itself to and this is for everybody it may actually lend itself to other things and I also see that this is going to be a third person coming into your life with a message so it can be simple, it can be complicated, but the main reason that the Three of Cups is here for you is just to say there's an extra element of celebration that you should actually lord about over yourself or about yourself just to make you feel that little bit better, that give you that little bit of extra pep. So do try, whenever possible, to really embrace everything that you have and always try and find the extra qualities that you have there because the Ace of Cups indicates a very strong new beginning in the third week of October and I do believe that the general feeling about that is something that is working its way to a sense of renewal personally so where have we got a little bit of extra elements here a little bit of dash of this dash of that like it is I getting a very strong recipe vibe from this and it's not just because it's dinner time for me it is because it's a sense of understanding and wanting to kind of brace yourself for change you're trying to create this new version of you i would say for some of you it's almost like you're going through this regenerational change if you're familiar with doctor who every few series or so they change the lead actor because the doctor has about 12 or so lives so if he's in a situation where for instance he's dying or he's done something for somebody else then he kind of, every cell in his body regenerates and he becomes somebody else. Now, this is the same for you. This is something that I believe is taking on inside of you, which is going to be kind of switching your perspectives, changing your point of view, taking a look at how you can mold things, and also kind of giving people a wake up call around you because the tower count, if I can speak, tower cow is because I just had a cow in the field over there. Tower card is something that I believe is coming through for you because this is other people. You're going to kind of show people, um, ooh, I didn't expect this from her, him, they. I didn't ex expect this at all. Um, what's this happening now? Ooh, how do I work this out? There's almost a feeling of uncertainty with this card. And for some reason, again, I get the feeling of solar flares. So maybe there's going to be some temperous happening around the fourth week of October. There could be some arguments that you didn't anticipate because your natural progression is going to change a few people's opinions of you. And it's definitely not something to be afraid of. If they change their opinion of you just because you've got stronger, just because you think yourself a little bit differently, just because you feel more comfortable in your own skin, then maybe they're not the right people to have around you. And this could actually set off some shaky business with regards to friends. Again, bringing my attention back to the contrast contract card in the center if you feel obliged to anybody to be their friend and it's not a mutual thing that they don't give back to you but you feel obliged to be their friend that's not a friendship and I think you're going to be understanding the way other people work a lot more this month because you're going to be releasing yourself from unnecessary agreements and unnecessary contracts don't feel like you have to resign yourself to being you know, the one that everybody calls upon but never is there for you, you know? That, that feeling is here that's really playing for you here. And um, as I say, it's it's the day of the blood moon super lunar eclipse. 
um, harvest moon. It's going to be an incredible moon. Um, and for those of you listening to this in October, I did, I do hope that you manage to see it, manage to get that feeling of it. But this reading is basically the after effects of that. It's a very intense moon, so you're going to be feeling the after effects of this emotional change. What I would say is um, just to keep your head above water and just to embrace this change as well. It's a very positive sense. And if you would want me to look into this personally for you, until the 9th of October I have a special on many of my readings. So you can take a look at that. If you're watching this after the 9th of October, don't worry. You still email me to try and book a reading if you would like, and I'll give you the price list there. Um, thank you for supporting me on Patreon, thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, and again, I really love the interactions that I have um, with all of you. It's really, really opening my eyes, and I hope that I can invest in this channel as much as you have with your comments and your devotion and you know everything that you've shown me. So thank you ever so much for listening to this. I do hope October is kind to you, and I look forward to reading for you in November.